In studies published on the rates of success with um, outcomes like cure and the rates of complications that are directly related to both volume and experience. Broadly speaking, I would think that about somewhere around 20 to 30 percent of the tumors that, we, that I operate on wind up being either Cushing's or acromegalics in that range. Uh, prolactinomas, we operate less, on the, less of those now than we used to be before because of medical therapy, but somewhere around maybe 10 or 15 percent would be in that ballpark. And then the rest of them, about 55 or so percent of the patients would probably be in the non-functional category, those that do not have any hormone secretory um, effects. Um, in terms of a personal series now, we're north of 1,500 uh, uh, cases totally. So if you do the percentage uh, split, you'll see what, uh, broadly speaking, it uh, approximate as. The question is, um, how many micro, smaller than one centimeter tumors, and macro, greater than one centimeter tumors, we see in the clinic? It is hard to answer because we are a tertiary referral center. So it is um, likely that we're going to see a little more larger bothersome tumors here because others that are smaller may be handled locally and physicians choose to, to observe them each year without sending referring them over um, to us. So this type of statistic is a little hard to give you um, accurate numbers, but definitely there are more micro, smaller tumors that we see in the clinic than macro, than larger um, tumors. And I think the proportion, just to guesstimate, is somewhere around 65 to maybe 35 percent. And this is because we are a referral center, so we tend to see the larger, the most aggressive tumors. In the community, the statistics will look very different. So what are the chances of being cured? This is the other question that uh, you would want to know. Uh, depending on the type of tumor, the cure rates may be different. Depending on the configuration of the tumor, the cure rates may be different. So I just put a few examples here. We just, we've done some data analysis here. This is on, 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 on the acromegalax, those patients who have growth hormone secreting tumors. And over the last 12 years, uh, we've had uh, a, a overall 70% post-operative remission rate which means if you do the math, that means there's a 30% failure rate, okay? And there's a recurrence rate of 3%. So these statistics are based on analysis of our electronic database, and these statistics hold up very well with the best centers in the world. We've also done analysis of the Cushing's disease um, um, patients. Again, uh, we have a 98, 92%, I wish we had a 98, we had a 92% rate of remission. That's our next, next target. A 92% rate of remission at three months following surgery, which I think, again, holds up very nicely to the um, um, uh, published results in the best centers. Uh, Cushing's is, can be very difficult to cure. There are some patients that require more than one operation because we can't find the tumor or we found part of the tumor and so forth. And there's a recurrence rate also. And this is based on our analysis of 70 patients over the last 15 years.